You've had your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Now we're underway. First of eight rounds. Hemiahio will want to get inside. The key factor out of Julius Long's 18 wins is 14 KOs, Monty. Open to see the long levers means that there's going to be enough punch to drop any heavyweight in the division. And of course, the range confuses yourself. Break, break, break. Uses by Bolt. Lean down on top of the smaller man. Don't lean you on see him. the forearm there. It almost looks like a 12 year old child and a grown man just in terms of the stature of the two in an effort to find range. Jabbing down to the body, jabbing upstairs there. Powerful whip, pound, one of the most explosive boxers I've seen and been around. You say it looks like a 12 year old, but when he pushes him off across the room, he moves at 148 kilos with ease. Well, he's just trying to line up that right hand. Ahio's got to be cautious, make sure he stays on the, the left shoulder. Long, probing, slapping with that left hand. Ahio uh, just trying to find range. He still needs to be careful. You can see Long looking to frame with that right hand. That was a little slow, but that's what he's trying to land. Break, break, stone punch. Step back. Ahio uh, needs to make sure he's on the left shoulder, stays away from the right hand. Left hook on the break. Don't hold. Work out. Work out of there. Uppercut left hook from Ahio on that break. A lot of shade from him here. He'll, he's not wasting any power on any punches. Energy has been conserved. Well, wow, nice right hand followed by the left hook. Yeah, he switched to southpaw, don't hold, don't squared hold, up, and doubled lean. up with the right hand from a southpaw Hands position. Free. Now left hand. You can see he can hit though. Defensively, there's Julius Long looking to hit and hold with that uppercut. The heads. There's that uppercut, and he has to be very careful not to wander into that. Don't Staying hold, in that southpaw hold. position. Oh, look, he's a wily old veteran. He's doing everything he can to spoil, to put him either hit or heel off his game. But already, I'm seeing the different little subtle changes from him or heel. The light and shade, the changing of angles and moving him onto some hooks from different ranges. Very nice to see. And once again, he's made him remember the power. That's exactly why. He gave him a few words at the end of that round, Mike. Now uh, he's talking it up, Julius. He, as you say, a wily old veteran. He wasn't short of a few words all week. Uh, he will ignore most of that, but he does need to be cautious not to pause in range. Just the size of the melon on that fella. <laughs> he's a big boy. Here we go, round two of eight. Hemi Ahio. The shorter of the two on the right of your screen, the city kickboxing representative. Looking for the uppercut on the inside. I wouldn't mind seeing him dipping and coming with the overhand right. Explore different angles to punch at. Beautiful work from Hemi. The Hio changing angles, switching the southpaw there momentarily. Big bomb starting to come now. Ahio beating him to the punch. Beautiful. Heavy shot from Hemi Ahio. Julius Lloyd Long. There's that uppercut that he throws. Short, chopping shots. Because you can see he's loading that right uppercut there. Work. Now, remembering... Don't push. We had issues with fouls earlier on in the night. Ahio just got tripped by a left hand there. Be good to see him shoe shot a little. Oh, there's a decent left hand again from Julius Lloyd Long. And the uppercut on the inside. Break, 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 break. Okay, come on. Ahio could do some work to the solar plexus with those rips. Wouldn't hurt him at all. There's a big rip with the left hand coming upstairs as well. Second round of eight. There's been a lot of action already. High pace for a heavyweight bout. Again, that switch to southpaw off on the angle. One thing Ahio doesn't want to do though is punch himself out. 
Trying to get the guy out of there too early. We're free. Come on, free the hands up. Yes, come on, let him just go. Take your time to shoot shine like we have. Even on the just walk back in evasion, he lands a right hook. Julius just trying to walk him forward now. Eats another sledgehammer jab from the right hand position. Lands a good left hand though, long. And you can see he's starting to catch him on the way in. He needs to be cautious because Julius Long has spent a good many years okay, surviving five. and counter punching off the ropes. That will... That's the shot we're talking about. He's got the ability to hit back too. Even the shorter shots. Now he's got long levers. Regan Foley, former world amateur number three. So strong. You know, walking back creates punch space, punch off the break, tire him out as well. Still six rounds to go in this bout. Here we are here. Landed a lot of clean shots, but uh, Julius Lloyd Long is still there. And there's that uppercut, and again, just the range from a here walking into the uppercut. This is a mauling, grueling bout already. Come on. Might see the referee take a lot of control here. Didn't earlier with fouls. Come on, work free. And again, there's that framing from Julius Long. Just really struggling to walk in there. It wouldn't hurt him to actually step back. Digs down low. Long looking for the left hook there. Uh, he managed to move under it. Wait for him to explode. He does that. Goes on the ropes. There he is. It's a little bit of a rest. Plays possum. Work out of there. He's back with some arsenal himself. Again, so he uses that frame. He comes with the clubbing shots and he'll try it again. Now here he needs to be very cautious of that. Clubbing shots back from Long. They're exchanging blows. He's just waiting too long. He looks a little fatigued, I've got to say. 148 kilos, especially that midsection. Taking a lot of punishment, absorbing a lot of shock. Every time he eludes a punch too, not that time though. It saps the energy. Long starting to don't fight hold, back. Hold, don't hold, come on. And again, Please. you see, Hands he fights in spurts. Off the back of his neck. Uh, he has got to be very cautious. Long isn't the most mobile of fighter. Doesn't always need to be there bombing away. Sometimes he can get out into space. Hemi having a laugh himself. Like getting sucked into the showmanship. Oh, left hook. Almost a check left hook as well from the big man. It's a thudding left hook that he throws. His punches thud rather than snap. But he doesn't want to take too many on. There's a decent left hand to the body. Again, thudding shot, more with the inside of the glove. Little counter left hook from Ahio. Still getting caught by that forearm on the inside. On the outside, rather. Well, that's starting to become an interesting round. Because he's landing a lot of shots. He's talking a lot of smack. You mentioned he fights in spurts. He sure does. Just when you think that he's... Got not a lot left in the tank. He comes back, hands are low. He throws it up again from awkward angles. He can even evade some shots too. Yeah, he pulls back quite well. He knows he's got a half You're decent right. chin. You're getting there, mate. And he uses his bulk and his size and the gamesmanship right at the end. See how we go. Fourth round, still a long way to go. Only halfway through this eight round fight. Yeah, I think if you do this long, you'd be happy with the way it's unfolding now at the moment. Realising he's got more of the weight, more of the spoils. Uh, he uh, doesn't want to cut down his own room by getting pulled into it. So he's got a little more room on the outside and he can get his hand speed up. Short little shots on the inside. Come on, boys. Take your time, take your time. Pace yourself. Call from Ahio's corner to pace himself, to take his time. He's a little arm weary himself. Uh, he goes, you can just see he's, he's expecting that shot to come back, which is causing him to pause. Don't push. 
Look for that overhand left there. Uh, he is just getting predictable there. He's starting to walk in and do the same thing. It's more of a push down. It's more of a push down than a shot. Seven. But it's a legitimate count. Eight. You're good to go, mate. Wipe your hand, wipe your gloves. Before that, okay. he was hit by a couple of hooks. Oh. An uppercut and a shoving shot on the inside. Well, that's now got very interesting. Well, work for me. Heavy shots Don't from push. Hemi Aheo, but he's still being monstered when he's pushed off by Julius Lloyd Long. Bit of puffing under the right eye of him, yeah, he or two. Jess has been in there, obviously he's been right in the pocket the whole time. Taking some to give some. Julius Long is really landing those clubbing shots from the outside. Ahio is landing shots, but they no longer seem to have as much impact as they did earlier. His launches. So right above corner. us here, ringside. And the heavy shots, you can, the sweat is spraying on us here. Julius Lloyd Long, once again, okay, just stop, absorbing stop, stop, the shots. Stop, stop, stop. Stay there in the neutral court. Whose is it? Yours. Stay, stay there. Give me a heels mouth guard on the floor. Clean up, please. Julius Long, uh, again, they're very apparent to referee. Time, time out. Sorry. Kicks <laughs> away, even. Just so he gets a little bit more time in that okay. corner. There we the go. Come on, boys. from Julius, too. Box. Uh, let's see if the pressure starts to tell. And he straight in and holds him around the back of the head. He needs to. There was a nice little right hand, slipped it inside. Got to be careful of that uppercut. Good left hook over the top. Again, from a southpaw position, he's had some success from there tonight. Wow, a turn up for the books. Nice to see again. Mention those covered shots from the back. So there you go. I mean, that that is blatant. That is clear. That is a pushing shot. That did not connect with the head at all. That there was though. the uppercut beforehand, and then there was a clubbing right hand afterwards. He started to get predictable on the way in. He comes the left hook here from Hemi. He drew up the right hook, followed up by the left hook also. He's had, he had some success from a very square south force. Julius Long just did look to wince a couple of times when he was hitting the body. Let's see how long the gas tank lasts. Yeah, they're calling him to step back. Good call from the corner. Can't rest on the ropes in the middle of the ring. Sticking to his guns, long. Ahio did exactly the right thing. Stepping back. Oh, yeah, he's starting to land the big shots now. Now the big fella's starting to look a little wobbly at the knees. Again, sprayed by the sweat from both combatants here, just above oh. us in ringside. Heavy blows. The accuracy of these blows have been exceptional. Relentless in his approach coming forward. I think Julius Long will be... There, that big shot, and he rocks back onto the ropes. Again, that was from that southpaw stance. And just see... Don't hold his back of his head. Come on, Julius. Just see the go. corner, Julius Long's corner. One of the corner had picked up a towel. Hands free. There's another left hook. Let's see her here go back to the body. He's got tape come free on his gloves as well. You've still got to be careful. Julius Long is very, very capable of playing possum. Throwing a big shot from nowhere. And you see he's still going for the uppercut there, but the shot seems to have lost their velocity. Like to see a Hio run and throw single shots, start to throw in combination. Comes okay, out momentarily before he retreats stop, stop, back stop. to the time corner in the comfort of the ropes. Trim up. trim up his gloves. Really? You got yours to trim up. I, I gotta say, if I was uh, Hemi Ahio's corner, I'd be making this real quick because I think Julius Lloyd Long is running on his reserve tank. Yeah, he's holding it nicely. If you think about poker faces, that's exactly what, what, what he's got. You mentioned in his corner. 
And uh, I, yeah, if I was in Long's corner, I'd be uh, taking as long as I possibly could as well. Regan Stan, the stalwart of okay. New Zealand boxer. Stay in that corner. Okay, guys. Time in, boys. Box. Right, we're back underway. And Julius Lloyd Long may well be a little bit rejuvenated. You can see he's moving more than he has sometime. Again, holding again on the blind side of the referee. There's that left hook again. That one won with him. But again, you could see he was looking for that right uppercut, though. He wobbled back. He's still got his wits about him. Ahio slowly chopping down the tree. Corners once again calling for him to step back. The crowd is enjoying this, a genuine slugfest from two big fellas. Nice work from Ahio starting to land in combination. And the bell could have come for a better time for Julius Lloyd Long. Both these men. Oh, look at that shot. That's one of many shots that have been successful from that man, Hemi the Eater Hill. That is why, on occasion, you saw the corner grabbing the towel. But this man, all types of strong. You hear the crowd show the concern right there for that fighter. You've got to get it back now. All right, don't sit on the ropes. Come on, hit him with that jab. Regan Foley really giving him a rev up. Saying take him to the ropes, push him back. But uh, it's a Hio now, he's pushing him back. Yeah, creating pressure, opening the gate and then letting him walk straight into it. Nice track from him with the Hio. Goes to work now. Julius Long in his favourite position in the corner on the ropes. He's starting to throw more than just the single shot at the moment. He's starting to try and put his combinations together. There's a little counter left hand from Julius Long. Head twisted once again by that overhand right from Hemi Ahio. It's another one though, Ahio, and another. Yeah, he has got to be careful again long looking for that forearm away and frame with the left hand That's a heavy shot with the left hand from a heo right uppercut from Long misses That's a shot caught from the corner aim for his eye his right eye Julius Long is really starting to close Dangerous too uh, his, A looping his, puncher like a heel His eye is uh, very very close to being closed heavy mouse underneath it a hero, a hero walks back in a straight line I'd like to see him just change angle a little bit rather than just walk straight back in now we start to string the shots together he uh, lurches to another corner his own showman. corner and uh, he'll have his coach giving him instructions from there there's that body shot there Ahio coming straight up with the left hook of it. Rolling with those shots, Ahio. Yeah, for a man who's taking a lot of punishment when he does come off the ropes and those spurts you're talking about, he's still got a bit of venom in those punches. A lot of tape coming off Ahio's glove once again. Another ripping shot to the okay, body. Stop, 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 stop. Neutral corner for you. Neutral corner for you. Time out. By design, coincidence. Here we go. Let's take once again. Let's take a close look at Long's face. A, a real mouse underneath his right eye. Visibly taking the deep breaths in. As he extends his frame to take in all the oxygen he can. Oh, he'll enjoy this. Okay, here we go. Come on. Time on, guys. Look. Step back and finish it. Really starting to take him to task to the body. 
Is it? Left up a cut from Long again. And he is starting to combat it effectively though. And another shot. Hands free, let him go. I just wonder about the ropes holding Long up more than anything. Well, there's the end of the sixth round. There has to be a feeling energized. You look at Julius Lloyd Long, he is really sucking in the big ones. This one? saw it, he wins, there are coming the looping shots from the hill, change of angle, ice packs firmly on him, this is the eye they're talking about, Regan Foley, going to work at it, twist, and then go again, pick your shots, come on brother, I don't want to talent, come in, putting the end swell on the right eye, but Regan Foley, really pulling out the mental tricks to keep Julius fighting Ahio straight back into that corner on the ropes. Again, I'd like to see him just occasionally step back, change an angle. Starting to read that left hook. Nicely done from Ahio. Good to see him go downstairs again. He's hit him with some huge shots, Ahio. Hasn't he? Oh, there's a little uppercut there from Long. Just a reminder, you've got to still stay sharp. <laughs> uppercut left hook from Ahio. Chopping shots. Julius Long has had a little bit of a lease in life now. He's starting to push him off. Starting to look for those shots again. Uh, he needs to be a little cautious there. Yeah, he's got his right hand down. The punishment that Julius Long has taken is commendable in terms of his resilience. Still standing once again. Three shots in quick succession. Big right hand shots from Ahio. Long still standing. Big shots. Another invitation, it's come out, nothing. Shakes it off, comes back in. Hemi heel. he loves to fight. Julius Long, I know he likes to fight, but on his terms, and fair enough, the big man. One minute to go in the seventh round. It's the penultimate round. Uh, Heo continuing to chop away. Just looking a little more fatigued this round and started to eat a couple more shots. Long, his corner's calling out, keep going, keep going. Chopping uppercut, followed by the hook, and then another uppercut. Long landing more in this round, pulling Ahio's head down, using the weight, and you can hear Mooks Parakai calling for Ahio to step back. Another left hand landed from the south for start. He's holding on, he's wobbled, he's down. I'll tell you what, if he goes down, I don't think he's going to get up. I think it'll be like George Foreman, just down out of sheer exhaustion. How has he not gone down? Go. The ropes are keeping him up. Ten seconds to go in the round. There he goes. And he's down. And he's down. And he's down. He's chopped a tree. The towel is coming. Foreman, shot after shot after shot. And Julius Long has dropped. Kenny Ahio had to dig very deep. He is still down. Seven rounds in. The 10 second clacker had gone. And Julius Long has been poleaxed. He is still on his back, centre ring. He went for eight round seven. Look at some things he can improve on. Against the rope here, he was just wobbled shortly after this. Here it is. You just see him wobbling. He just leans all over him here right now. And Ahio steps back, and you can see he is really trying to hold on tight. Yep. And he's been just clipped on the back of the head. Just the ropes keeping him up. Ahio smelt blood, long falling forward. And finally, Ahio with a succession of left hooks. He clattered his head against the canvas, and it was all she wrote for Julius Lloyd Long. It was a hearty performance from both fighters. In the end, Ahio's uh, power took its toll.
Julius Long epitomizes what it means to be a boxer. What he's shown. What a hard day in the square office. He says he's all right. He certainly gave it a good nudge. He landed some good shots. Showed tremendous resilience. <laughs> you don't keep Julius not talking for long, that's for sure. Plenty of chat coming out of the corner. Emil Hill himself. And of course, he takes his undefeated record to 17-0 with 12 KOs. Dave Renata, ringside doctor, taking a close look now. He's a champion, Julius Long. You hear what he said? That's a payday for my family. Good on you, Dad. Always the showman, the big fella. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for these two heavyweights. What do you say? 